When you go to fill up the pump right now in 2022, you're seeing $4 a gallon, $5 a gallon, and you could even be seeing $7 a gallon by the end of the year in certain states. Not only are these exploding gas prices a nuisance to you as a consumer and taking away more of your hard-earned money, these exploding gas prices could cause a devastating economic crash across America in 2022. If we look back throughout history, the last time that gas prices were this high in America was the middle of 2008, about three months before the most devastating economic and financial crash the US experienced in nearly a century. With gas prices once again surging out of control and no end in sight to this increase due to the Russia-Ukraine crisis, could we be heading for another cataclysmic economic crash that takes out the US economy, the stock market and the housing market, I'm going to let you know in this video using data. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first place you all need to get started in terms of understanding how gas prices affect the US economy and why this increase could cause such a big economic crash is by looking at the history of gas prices in America, which is what we're doing on this chart. You can see we have this big run up over the last 12 to 18 months and that today we're over $4 a gallon on average in America when you go to fill up your car. This is the second highest level of all time that we're experiencing right now. The last time that gas prices were this high was the middle of 2008. Now, as many of you know, only three months after gas prices hit their peak in the middle of 2008, we had the worst economic and financial crash that the US had experienced since the Great Depression. The stock market went down by 50%. The housing market had the worst crash of all time. But what many of you don't know is that it was these surging gas prices that served as the powder keg that set off this cataclysmic chain of events. Now, I think a lot of you might be saying to yourself at this point, wait a minute, how could sky high gas prices set off a US economic collapse or a world economic collapse? Well, I'll tell you right now. That's because when gas prices explode on the order of 50% in a year like they have right now in America, that can come as a massive shock to consumer and business spending. When gas prices explode, that takes away your discretionary income as a consumer. Additionally, it causes businesses to become a lot more cautious in terms of their future expansion propositions. And we can see historically that pretty much every time that gas prices in America explode, we see a recession occur. That's what this graph is showing. The yellow bars represent periods when there was a recession in America, according to the National Bureau of Economic Research, while the yellow line represents the two-year percentage change in gas prices that you pay at the pump, how much higher they are today compared to two years ago. And what do you see is that pretty much every time that gas prices explode, we see a recession. Just take a look at the late 70s. Gas prices went up by 94% over two years. We actually had a double dip recession one in 1980 and then one in 1981. The same thing occurred in the early 90s. Gas prices exploded by 45% over two years. We had a recession in the early 90s. Same thing occurred in the early 2000s. Gas prices exploded by about 55% through 2001. Then we had a recession. And then a similar but a little bit more complicated thing occurred in the mid-2000s. We had a gas price explosion. It took a little longer, but eventually that helped cause one of the biggest recessions of all time. Now today, we're at a 77% increase over the last two years, and history says that we are due for a recession as a result. And you can really get a sense for how devastating this is to the local economy by looking at some real numbers for what the typical American is facing, for what you're facing now at the gas pump and how much you're needing to spend. On this map, we're looking at the average cost of a gallon of gas across America. And what jumps off the page is you can see a typical household in California is having to pay $5.30 per gallon. And most of these states in orange, California, Nevada, Oregon, Washington, Illinois, New York, they have the highest gas prices at well over $4 a gallon. But where things get really crazy and messed up is when you convert that average you're paying at the pump per gallon to what your annual cost is per year. That's what we're doing on this graph. And we can see in California, due to the high gas prices and how much people drive there, the average household is now paying $5,600 per year 
just on gas. Texas is actually surprisingly high as well because even though the average gallon of gas in Texas is cheap, people drive a lot there. So the average household in Texas is spending $5,000 on gas. And so yes, there's different variations across states in America of how much you're gonna feel these higher gas prices hit you at the pump. However, more broadly, it is a bad situation for America because now the average household is having to spend 7% of their income just on their gas cost a $1,500 increase from what it was last year. If you multiply that $1,500 increase by the 126 million households that exist in America, you realize that these higher gas prices are a $200 billion tax on Americans. This is money that is not going into the local economy, it's going into the pockets of oil companies and oil barons in the Middle East. This is money that we're not gonna see redistributed back into the economy, but rather into the coffers of big oil producers. Now, there's a big question I think on a lot of your minds right now, especially about oil and gas prices is you're asking yourself, why are gas prices so expensive? Why are they up over $4 a gallon? And will they continue to go up into the future or will they start going down soon? And I'm gonna answer that question for you in one second because that's really important to understand. Is this just gonna be a temporary situation where Americans are paying more at the gas pump, where all of a sudden people in Texas and California are paying over $5,000 a year uh, per household in gas costs, or will we see some relief soon? Clearly the Russia-Ukraine crisis has a lot to do with the current situation, but even before then, we were seeing big upward pressure on gas prices, and the reason why was this. As soon as the pandemic hit, we actually saw a big decline in gas consumption below production. That's what these blue bars represent. More oil and gas being produced in the world and people were demanding it and that's why we saw low oil prices during the pandemic. Pretty much every time we see these blue bars that means more production than consumption and prices are going down. But then when we see these red bars that indicates that consumption is above production on a worldwide basis and we were starting to see this already in late 2020 through the end of 2021. And so even before this Russia-Ukraine crisis started, there was already a shortage in oil and gas. The production was not meeting the demand and that was already causing prices to go up at the pump. But then all of a sudden you introduce Russia's invasion of Ukraine and you throw the whole system into even further disarray. Russia typically produces over 10 million barrels of oil per day. That's 11% of worldwide oil production. Russia is still producing that oil or would like to produce that amount of oil. However, right now no one is buying Russian oil. Many countries are boycotting Russian oil due to fear of sanctions as well as for moral reasons due to their invasion of Ukraine. And so the shortage of oil coming from Russia, not because Russia doesn't want to produce it, but because no one wants to buy it, well, that's likely going to mean even higher oil and gas prices in the next couple months. Some estimates, some aggressive estimates say we could see $5 a gallon in America by the summer and even $7 a gallon in an expensive gas state like California. In fact, we're already seeing in certain cities close to $7 a gallon in California. This of course would further increase the likelihood of an economic crash because quite simply, Americans cannot afford these increases. Data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics shows that in February 2022, get ready for this folks, the average wage in America went up by one cent. That's right, the average hourly wage went from $31.57 to $31.58 in February 2022. Those wage gains are not enough to keep pace with these escalating gas prices as well as the prices of all the other goods across the economy. Inflation is raging right now, particularly rental rate inflation. Rents are up 15% year over year and American consumers are just getting hit from all sides on cost of living. This is inevitably going to lead to a big reduction in consumer spending as well as business investment, which I believe could crash the economy in 2022, especially when you consider that the Federal Reserve is now going to be tightening economic policy. The first interest rate hike is coming in the next two weeks and some estimates have seven interest rate hikes in 2022, as well as the introduction of 
quantitative tightening, which is going to take money out of the system. These contractionary economic moves are going to happen just as Americans are being squeezed by higher gas prices and rent costs. Are we going to see history repeat itself? And are we going to get another yellow bar, another recession following this massive increase in gas prices? Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear what you think about these rising gas costs and their impact on the US economy. How much are you paying for gas in your city and state? Are you able to afford it? Are your wages going up enough to keep pace with the higher gas prices, to keep pace with the higher rent? Let me know in the comments below and also make sure to smash that like button, everyone. That's the best way to support this channel and get this content out to more people is by smashing the like button. Also make sure to become a subscriber if you're not already. I come out with three to four data-driven videos per week on the US economy and housing market. Additionally, if you are a subscriber, make sure you've turned on subscribe notifications. Some of you complained to me in the comments section that you miss my videos sometimes, but one of the reasons might be that you don't have subscribe notifications turned on. So make sure you do that. All right, everyone, until next time, this is Nick from Reventure Consulting signing off.